What is going on, guys? Check this out. This here is going to be the ultimate vehicle for survival. Unless they do an EMP. Unless they do that. They may even come take it from you if you have it. But this vehicle right here. 2022 Ford F-150. The Lightning. They made a Lightning a while back. They had a Lightning on Fast and the Furious. The first Fast and the Furious death uh, uh, Brian drove where he hit the curb. <laughs> Cracked all it up. But uh, it's an electric pickup truck. Yeah, you say, I don't want no damn electric pickup truck. Don't do it to impress. Like, I want my dudes on. Don't do it to impress. Do it for your life. And no, I'm not getting paid for this. I'm not getting endorsed for this. It's nothing. I just think it's a beautiful idea. And it's cheap. Uh, this pickup can power your house for days. Like three days at the least. This truck can power your house. In 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 in, in for blackout happen. Intelligent backup power can send juice from the lightning's battery into your home's electrical system in a blackout. No extension cords required. You're thinking it's Wi-Fi or something, don't you? No, it's just it's just reverse charge. So you keep your truck charged now. Just say you'll have a hurricane going on or anything, anything, just something going on. The 2000, this, this, where well, this thing here is electric pickup truck that's packed with surprises and ground bacon. Forget all that, forget all that. And then all they saying what it do. And maybe major power or frunk. A frunk is a trunk in the front, y'all. got So that's more cargo space. You got some in the bed and some in the front. So you got an actual truck truck, then you got a trunk in the front. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh. Uh, and like I said, I think it's like forty thousand dollars base model. Oh, uh, this battery power truck can really power your house when the lights go out, and better still, doing so won't require rashness of extension cords or even a portable generator. Ford call it intelligent backup power. It it it, it lets this truck. Feed power from his enormous battery pack, which is probably the bottom right up under the seat. Like the whole bottom, probably the battery. Through a hardwired wall charger. That's it. Directly to your home's electrical system. So when you charging it at, you just flip it back and power your house. That's pretty much the same idea as my generator I got out there. You know, if you didn't know, we got a standby generator, so... When the power go out, within some seconds, that generator fire up, all the lights come back on in the house. And mines run off natural gas or propane gas. At our other house, we had natural gas, so we had one of the natural gas. At this house, we don't have gas. It's an all-electric area with... Um, underground utilities so I had to do propane didn't like that I wanted that untapped natural gas coming out just going uh, so they say when this car going to sell next year it will offer two battery pack sizes a small one which should provide 230 miles of range and a big one with 300 miles uh, they say they could clock roughly 110 to 150 kilowatts an hour. 9.6 kW power output. Uh, I think my 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 generated like 7.6 kW. I think it could it could power the house for at least three days 
based on an average of 30 kilowatts an hour. You can make it power last for 10 days if you ration electrician electricity accordingly. Kind of like hypermilling your home, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, this is how they eat away. Yeah, that's it. That's that's, that's pretty much just took out the rest of it is whatever, whatever. I'm saying that uh, 775 pound feet of torque on tap, $40,000 before any state or federal taxes. That's the beginning base model, y'all. So yeah, you know, any little situation, you can you can load your truck up and do what you need to do, and then you can get back home and plug that joint in and your house back running. It's a nice powerhouse. And forty thousand is a throw in the bucket for something like that. If you get that, whew. Your house can always have green grass. <laughs> Do y'all see that engine? That's Cummins. Normally, you know, you get Cummins diesel. This is Cummins. They have uh, they unveil a combustion engine that could run on any fuel. Mm. That is that is where it's at, y'all. Uh, you could like be like, I'm gonna run diesel. Or you like, I want to run gas. Oh, no, I want to run propane or kerosene or whatever. I'm guessing, cause hey, that's end game now. You pull up somewhere, be like, man, ain't I'm gonna use that right there. You know, I'm guessing you gonna have to run it out or change some over. I don't know too tough about it. I just know that sounds like a good idea. Oh, design an optimized combustion chamber for fuel mixing. Okay. Charge motion and turbulence generation in the engine. It's an American manufacturer too, y'all. Cummins is. So it may, eh, eh. I read for mine to be German. Made in Germany. You know what I'm saying? Not from it. And, and and put together over here. No, I want it from there. This, uh, this means the engine is almost the same no matter what fuel you use, but the slight adaptions for every fuel, every type of fuel. This engine platform can burn any fuel, although not all at the same time. I just said I thought it said something about mixing. I guess you gotta choose the one you want whenever, you know. You might mix a little bit with another lot. Series engine portfolio which will be available for diesel, natural gas, and hydrogen. I'm just putting that in with the with the electric car. That's all. The electric truck rather say.